What's up everyone? This is Sonic 91 back with a new Let's Play for you all. Let's play Digimon World 3. And Fraser Taser, if you're still watching six years later, the request finally came in. We're instantly going to start things off, since there are no options to screw around with. We'll get more into bits and pieces of the game a bit later. First world problems. It's just in. The main character is an obnoxious piece of crap. Oh, joy. None says real world like terrorism. I fat my hand in anger. I fat both my hands in anger. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, she's fapping her hands in anger. Daddy, do you even have eyes? Probably be the last we ever see at this place. So how long until this thing is a reality in our world? Probably like 200 years. <laughs> and we're all dead anyway. Don't you have to set up an account online? Yes. Sweet. Alright, I can explain these a bit, a bit later. Like all of them. Well, I think you know what ones he likes. Got Patamon's fat face in the thought bubble. It's not that simple. Hey, Gilmon. Except Nubamon. He's an ugly piece of shit. Along with Sukumon, who is an actual piece of shit. <laughs> Bitch, it was two seconds. Hmm. Why do you all have to go in at the same time? Very good question. Pretty sure they choose a different icon instead of that. Alrighty then. 
then. Get rid of all that nonsense. This is how it will be represented throughout the rest of the game. Now, about the whole choosing a pack thing. All in all, it really doesn't matter which one you pick, because you'll eventually be able to grab all of them. So just choose the ones where you're more... that are more favorable to you to start with. Uh, like they said, balance pack is obviously with balance. Copemon has very good attacking stats and can heal itself. Renamon is basically your black mage, and Petamon is essentially the white mage. Uh, powerful pack basically only goes for attacking, since there is no healing right off the bat. And Manic pack is... It's a bit odd in them saying you can only count on Patamon, considering Kumon is very physically strong, but it doesn't know very many uh, techniques. Gilmon can actually go in a variety of ways. Odd moves. I don't know where that the hell where that's coming from. And Patamon is obvious, since we just explained it. I'll go safe and choose the balance pack. But there is one Digimon missing from that from that uh, selection, and he's often the one that you're gonna get first, which will probably be the same for me. And also, he's my favorite Digimon. Oh, I thought you weren't gonna hurry up. You fucking hypocrites! Hey, Saiyan Pods! A bit more, uh, a bit more well designed, in my opinion. Saiyan. Won't be anything else. Why do they all look like like high tech nurses? The hats really serve no purpose. Later, fuckers. One pod sits one. You can't come in. Fancy little CG sequence there. And here we are. For some reason, I got one of Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstoppers next to my head. To explain it. Oh shit, that's why you're here, genius. Alright. Basic controls, but I'm actually going to change things really quick. It's uh, in controller settings, since I am playing this on my PS3. Just switch to analog mode so I can actually use the control stick. Much better. Yeah, no one really cares about the card battle. It really doesn't add anything to the game. It's just that since this is a JRPG, it's got to have a freaking mini game in it. Oh, it's a satellite. I 
like in the opening. Servers of Matarasu, I Izumo, Asuka, Yamato, and Ikaruga. That last one sounds familiar because it's actually a uh, shoot 'em up game. City Guide, Inner Shops, In. this later. Need my partners. Well, can't go on with the game unless we do so. guys long enough. Process ever. You know, I don't think that ever gets explained. Better not pet them on. Yeah. Smell you later. Alright, everybody line up. Ah, I love this music. Well, it's not too far. Can't get too far until we get our first fight. idea how right he is. Alright, here I can explain the battle system. Unlike with World 2, you don't need don't need any tech points or magic to actually do a regular attack. So that's what the fight thing is. It's a physical strike. Tech is using techniques. The yellow the yellow worded techniques are signature moves. So this is coat Kotemon's uh, signature move, Hothead. I don't know if it's Kotemon or just Kote. DV is the Digivolution menu. We don't have any Digivolutions yet. Tag, you can tag out with your other partner Digimon. Item, use an item, and run is obvious. So this is a physical strike. Not too bad. Don't worry about having to fight champions or anything like that. It all depends on levels in this. And also, if you look towards the HP bar and a little bit below it, you're able to see your Digimon's condition. Green means they are not at full health. Red means that they are dead. And blue is uh, full health. If it's purple, that means they are poisoned. And just below that is something called the Blast Gauge. When it's full all the, all the way... You're actually able to forcefully digivolve into a higher form. 
and they'll do one attack and then revert back to their regular state. Depending on what form your Digimon is actually in, Rookie, Champion, Ultimate, or Mega, they'll actually go to the next stage. So if we were do able to do it in the Rookie stage, like we are with Copemon, he'd be able to go to the Champion level. Champion, equal to Ultimate, Ultimate to Mega. I'm not too sure Mega actually changes, because I've never been able to actually see that. And it's down. Only four experience for beating a champion? What the feck? Yeah, it's a pretty easy fight. You can just win with two, two regular attacks. There's no way to lose unless you intentionally just screw around. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. Hold her back. Oh, card battles. Pfft, I don't need that trash. Now, the Digimon Lab is something a bit different than it was in the other games. Here you get to choose which Digivolutions your partners can carry, since they can only carry three. And you can also set moves that the other forms can actually use. Signature moves cannot be passed on. Also, you can see in the background there's some digi eggs. Yeah, that's true. It sucks. Yeah, you have to talk to them twice in order to get the actual information. Uh, no, I can explain that myself. Now, to get certain Digivolutions, you actually need to change your partner's stats around. Meaning they had to have higher affinity for one thing or another. Oh god, let me just get out of here. And actually, some Digimon can actually DNA Digivolve with each other. I don't have a full list, but you're able to tell that one of your that uh, one pair of your Digimon can actually DNA Digivolve by looking at the tag menu when they're at Champion or higher. And also some are obvious, like War Grimmon and Metal Grimmon can become Omnimon, x -Vimon and Stingmon can become Pyildramon. Pretty simple stuff. Beomon. Gavumon. Unfortunately, not all Digimon are actually available to get in the game, such as with these three. It kind of sucks, especially for, like, Terriermon, considering both Gilmon and Renamon are in the game, and they were actually the partner Digimon of the Tamers in Season 3 of the anime. Oddly enough, you can get uh, Terriermon's Megaform. And this is Gardramon. He's going to be your, your save assistant. Gatomon run ins. And we're gonna go pop over to the shops. See what they've got. Do I even have any money? Oh, I got 50 bits, that's it. Not very much to start with. Here we have Gargomon. He specializes in the armory. Govmon has the pawn shop, which basically means accessories, and Wizardmon holds the item shop. Do we have anything? Can I actually buy anything here? No. Maybe a bandana. And also, I just keep on saying that yes, but also, every Digimon can only hold a certain type of equipment. For ones like Agumon, Gilmon, and another later on, they can hold like daggers, and they can use stuff like bandanas, helmets. But for ones with specialties like Kotmon, he can grab uh, short swords or katanas. Another glove is for Kumamon, and 
bow slash gun weapons are for Mon Mon. Or Mun Mon. And rods and spears are basically held by Runamon and Patamon. But pretty much anyone can wear special uh, non-specialty armor. But that's going to be a while before we can actually grab that. And yes, you can press the circle button to see who's actually going to be affected and who can actually equip it. Here is the start menu, or pause menu. First off is items. That's kind of obvious. You can use items. Uh, sort. That is the way you can actually switch around your party. Seeing as though they don't all attack at once, like in Digimon World 2. It's one-on-one -on -one fights. So if you want another one to take the lead, you have to sort your party around. Map. You can see where you are on the map. Oddly enough, you're not going to be using this to uh, fast travel or anything. It just shows you the location that you've been to. It is not that big of a location, honestly. Techniques, you can use special techniques, mostly healing abilities. Status, you can see the stats of your Digimon, see their equipment and their digivolutions, change them around. Here's where we can explain the stats on the left. The fist represents physical power. The shield represents physical defense. The fairy represents um, magical uh, acquittiveness. How good you are at magic. The gold bar, or whatever the hell that is, don't really tell what that is, is magical defense. The streaking star is speed, and below that is charisma. Charisma doesn't really play that big of a part in the game, aside from just uh, playing with card battles. Now, for the other column, fire represents, um, obviously, fire tolerance. Yeah, these are all tolerances. There's fire, water, ice, wind, electricity, metal, and darkness. As you can see, Copemon has a very high tolerance for water but not that big of a tolerance for ice or wind. Now let's run them on. Her highest tolerance is ice, but her lowest tolerance is machine, since she's more of a spiritual Digimon. And as you can see with her regular stats, she's very high in the magical attack, since again, she is the black mage. And adequate speed as well. Adamon, he's kind of all over the place. He has very high uh, spiritual or magical defense, but very low physical attack since, well, he is the white mage. Okay, I think that's the gist of things. I should probably heal up Kopman since he did take a little bit of a beating. And thankfully, the the sleeping animation is freaking quick. Thankfully, it's cheap, only being 8 bits. For Digimon, at least. Yep, if you want to save, you got Dr. Gardramon. There is no other way to save in the game. Before we move on, we should explore a little bit more of the city. What do we have here? 